Hi, and welcome to the third episode of Virtuoso. I'm Ben. And I'm Mitch. And uh, we have something very exciting on today's show, Mitch. Very exciting. Um, I have it right here. Uh, it's a present for you. Would you like to unwrap it? Oh, I'd love to. Oh! Oh! There, there, What's inside? There is a person in A here. person inside the there present. There is a person inside this hey, present. Help me. <laughs> you want, shut up. Do you want to... You're my present. Hang on, no. Let him out. Let him out. Oh, okay. Let okay. him try existing. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What? Hey. 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 <laughs> Guys, you can't see him because this is purely audio. But we have live in the studio. Oh. Put your hands together for... Jacob Isolovsky. No. <laughs> Um, now, you might be wondering, who is Jacob? Exactly. Why do we make such big oh, deal? I barely know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Uh, Jacob is our new writer for Virtue, and he will be writing Tiresias. Yeah, and apparently I own him now, because he was given yes. to me as a gift. Uh, no Jacob. refunds, I forgot the receipt. That did imply you owned me in the first place, Ben. I did. Oh, yeah. No, wait, no, you had uh, everything but my left that arm. That fateful day in February when we carved our names into the tree. I um, like so, a whole body or something. <laughs> so Jacob will be joining us as the writer of Tyrese's. Um so Jacob, uh tell us about uh your your history with writing. Um how, oh, how, where did your love for writing begin and, and why do you write and why did you decide to write for us? In a, te- oh. in a textbook in SOS class in year seven, mm-hmm. I wrote all of our friends to a stupid sci-fi. I don't know whether it was a comedy because I think I was serious at the time. <laughs> <laughs> On the first page, it had sex with Pamela Anderson. It had a lingerie stop under, under the crowd casino. I don't even say casino. <laughs> <laughs> and what else did it have? Everything being blown up. That's about it. And that. <laughs> t- tell us. Tell us. And the, rest and the audience. audience. So, basically, so basically, what you're saying is. It was a first story. It was a first story, but it was particularly horrible. <laughs> and and now, now tell us and the audience how you have evolved since then. Oh yeah, I forgot they don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I kept writing. That's usually what you do when you, when you suck at something, you keep doing it. And until doing you it. stop sucking until it. Until you stop sucking it. I, I think I'm at that stage now where I'm stop sucking it. Because I'm on the internet with writing. I can, I yeah. can put it on the internet. Yeah. I mean, that's a good thing because it's the most judgmental place on the planet. Mm-hmm. Internet is a safe space. Everyone on the internet is lovely, Jake. Everyone is lovely and supportive. These are all true words. Do you have no, your own internet? <laughs> I do. I have my own internet. Internet. It's it's me. Your pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I think it's called an intranet. But uh, <laughs> sir, uh, Jake, what what are your favourite books? As a favorite books. Oh. Um, all of the Wheel of Times, there's 14 of them, yep. so I say that constitutes a big chunk of the top 50. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is a good top 50, there's 14 books. <laughs> <laughs> no, not all of the top 50. All, <laughs> all of the top, top 50, 50 is 14 50 books. books. We are writers, not mathematicians. <laughs> hey, I did do maths at school. Oh, so did I. But well, we both on the same <laughs> And uh, so you'll be writing Tiresias, so yes. uh, tell us a bit about your ideas for Tiresias. Um, um, what direction is the story taking? Who's the main character in Tiresias? <laughs> without giving anything yeah. away, clearly, because yeah. well, Tiresias is going to launch this coming Friday with the first oh, issue. That's right. mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do the cover. That's okay. Am I supposed to say You should that? probably write the first <laughs> issue as well. I know, it's finished. Come on, give me some credit. <laughs> uh, and Jacob, three words is hardly a first issue. <laughs> hey. I'll get to it, I'm a writer. <laughs> I am an artiste. <laughs> so, um, so tell us about your art. My art? Well, I thought I had another question I had to answer. Yeah, well, no, your, your art of writing. <laughs> oh, the art of writing. I thought you meant all the other stuff I do. Art of writing. Um, Alright, well, I draw heavily from long-winded fantasies and sci-fis, which is probably bad for a short story. <laughs> no, it's, it's perfect. perfect. But I'm trying very hard to develop my, not only short stories. <laughs> Short story skills. Why am I so bad at this? And character building skills. So, because Tyrosis is a very angry person. He's a mm. horrible, horrible angry person. Who's, that, that's the source of his power, essentially. So, he's got to learn to develop that anger, but it can't really go away, otherwise he loses everything he is mm. as, as a superhero. So, it's, it's a little bit of an adventure in that regard. It's a bit of an adventure in a, in a superhero regard where he beats people up for no reason. Hmm. Love, so that's that's the heart of it. That's a crux of it. 
Well, we, we've read, behind the scenes, we've read the first issue, first and a half, I think, issues of Tosis yes. and been very enjoyable so far. I personally didn't want to hear all the stuff that Jacob's got planned because I was worried about spoiling it. And as I, I do declare, Mr. Bell. <laughs> May have been a little bit spoiled for me, but I can I can promise you it's very enjoyable read and very exciting stuff happening in the near future. All three of you readers will enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jacob, I have a question for you. Cool. What's your zombie plan? My zombie plan. Zombie I have plan. a book. About yes. It. Oh, oh, I haven't read it yet. <laughs> I well, should get. You are unprepared. I should... well, I'm not unprepared. I mean, I'll live, I'll, 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 I'll live in Parkland. You, I mean, you, okay. It means you, very little. You can, well, you can go down the street, and there's a, there's a Bunnings. You can go down the other street, and there's a shopping centre, and no one lives there. Set? Yeah. Well, so well, you have said fortify that. And the thing is, is only, it's a population of about thousand or two thousand people in that suburb, yeah. and there's a stretch of thirty k's between there and the nearest suburb there. So I'll be able to see them shambling all up, and I mean, packing them open. Now it's already mm. infected. It, it's all very flat with no trees too. It's all so very flat no, with no, no trees and, and out a bunch things. of deros. Yeah. I mean, they'll probably protect the front with all their gun nut mentality and swing big steel bars that are used for roof racks and things. I, I just, I'm just going to roll on them for a while. Solid. Mm. Solid. We also have an escape plan. Yeah. yeah. We have a caravan in the mountains. Ah, perfect. <laughs> Romantic. Yeah, I know. I mean, we're going to have fires and everything. I don't know if the zombie apocalypse is ever going to count as romantic. It's like it's your opportunity. If there was oh, a girl you liked, it's your opportunity to just kidnap her and protect her from zombies. Do you want to, do you want to rethink the word kidnap in there? Well, I'd like, say that's perhaps. what happens in, like, every zombie movie where there's a slight romance. <laughs> Except that one where Bill Murray died. Yeah. Zombie yeah. Land, that was it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that provided me with some very beneficial rules. It, it double tap and such. Yeah. Are they making a second one? Hmm? They're making a second one. Let's talk of a mini series. Oh, what? A mini series? Uh, yeah. Hi, welcome to the Zombie Land <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Take my three people who don't actually know anything about the topic. Uh, make sure you check out our blog, uh, lovezombieland.com. <laughs> I didn't know one thing about zombies, though. Yep. Yeah. Simon Pegg says they should not run. And he's, so, he's an authority on zombies. Uh, oh, yeah, I respect he, he has survived a zombie apocalypse. Yeah. With Dylan Moran, which is... <laughs> the, the original... Uh, oh, what's his name? I'm going to get it wrong on live internet. It's going to be embarrassing. <laughs> it's either John Ramiro or Robert Ramiro. It's John the Ramiro. Guy, John Ramiro? Yes. The guy who invented like, modern day zombies. Yes. yes. The, yes. the uh, Dawn of the Dead. Yes, yes, yes. Which is what Walking Dead is based Ro- on. Robert His zombies Ramiro. Start, right? <laughs> it's probably... Is that the... No. Robert Rodriguez. Now I'm mixing him with Robert Rodriguez, who is my least favorite movie director. <laughs> anyway, anyway. John Rodriguez. The, the point is, oh, yeah, he, he invented modern day zombie books. So yeah. that's what most pop culture is based on, and his zombies can't run. Yeah. Because they're, they're decaying corpses. And I don't know if you've had personal experience with a decaying corpse. <laughs> with a decaying corpse, but they find it difficult to run. Uh... Minimal muscle tone. Well, like a bash, since my girlfriend works in a graveyard, they have very much trouble with any sort of motor. <laughs> hey, you're not, that completely compromises your zombie plan. No, it doesn't. This is the thing. She's like, what better place in the graveyard? They have a tool shed. And they, 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 <laughs> they, they, they also have zombies. They have zombies. <laughs> no, but I mean, where else? I mean, okay, if you're trying to assassinate someone, would you assassinate them when they're running at you or when they're still coming out of their door putting their top hat on? Well, that's a really bad analogy. <laughs> I don't know which way you want me to answer that. How close no. are my legs to their hands bursting out also, of the ground? Also, I don't think I'm going to assassinate anyone who walks out of the door with a top hat on. I respect that man. And you much. can't assassinate zombies. You can only re-assassinate this them. thing is, she's hedging and things with the... And, yeah, with the and, and the, all the hands will come out and get chopped off and I'll go right back in. And then there's lots of... Is that like whack, around. whack a zombie? With yeah. A giant yeah. wooden mallet? Except with spinning plastic blade things. Okay with that. It still works for me. I, I smell a game idea in that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, some, some sort of game where, like, you're a gardener and you have to fight zombies. Yeah, you have using to plant the this garden. Chemicals. 
to fight zombies. Mm. That could... Oh, this... <laughs> <laughs> There's not like thousands of dollars in microtransactions in this idea. Most likely. It's not, it's you not, could the, hoard it's not the microtransactions. You it to every it's, platform. <laughs> it's the $40 million being sold to EA that I'm... Ah. Yeah, we do are we, talking, we do are talking about... Do we want $40 million of EA's money? We're talking about Pocket here. Is, we it, is it dirty blood money? <laughs> it's, it's dirty blood money. It's coming with the blood of Mass Effect. Mm. That's like a situation. <laughs> this has gotten ridiculously <laughs> off topic. I don't think Mass Effect bled at the end. <laughs> it, it was not bled me. It was just... It was out of husk. Oh, I see I see what you did there. I well played. This is getting very obscure. I don't think anyone's going to understand what we're talking about. No. We're, we're so jumping from topic right. to topic. Is that the point of this? Uh, sometimes. We are sometimes. This sometimes. is the third episode. We, we, have, we have three episodes. We have deep. strong precedence <laughs> on what to go with. We, do, we <laughs> know exactly. We know exactly what's going on in this podcast. Yeah, doing sure. It. This is planned. Uh, yeah, there it is. There's the uh, 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 10 minute 7 uh, Russian accent. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna play right out here in the transcript. That was a horrible bar. Uh, Followed up next is a uh, uh, Mitch's knock knock jerk. You know what? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Best knock jerk, Ben. You start. <laughs> okay, um, knock knock. Who's there? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I see what you Classic. Did. You uh, feel That's free to use that out there in your internet. Later. That's a freebie. Okay, it's, uh, yeah, this, despite yeah. all that really lame stuff we just said, that no, we should delete it actually. Probably. Why were you flipping an invisible notepad when it's audio only? Uh, <laughs> uh, this, this, this isn't an invisible notepad. This is a very real notepad. Uh, it lists what we're going to talk about here on this show. Uh, see? Uh, uh, see on this page? If, okay. If you, if you do the sound effect, you're not breathing at the end of me. <laughs> you're really transparent sometimes. <laughs> Especially with audio. <laughs> Wait, we should be winding down, shouldn't we? <laughs> yeah, we probably should. Alright, so thank you for coming on the show today, Jacob. You're welcome. And uh, thank you, Mitch, as always. No worries. Pleasure. Um, so, Teresius, uh Issue 1 uh, comes out uh, this week, Friday. Um, and the week after that, uh, we have all the second issues. Uh, yes. So, the next one after Tiresias will be Benjamin, issue two. Yep. If you've been hanging out for a month waiting to see what happens in the next issue of Benjamin, now is almost your chance. <laughs> <laughs> two weeks. After two weeks. Don't forget two weeks. Okay. Yeah. Uh, spoiler alert, Benjamin makes shrimp puffs. Which you made me now feel like. <laughs> all right. <laughs> We should wrap this up and go get shrimp puffs. We should. Let's go get shrimp puffs. We're going to go get shrimp puffs, guys. So thank you for listening to episode two. Uh, we'll no, see episode three. Three. I said three in my brain. Time mind. Five. Does it having fun. Episode three. Thank you for joining us. Hopefully see you again for an episode four. If, we haven't, if you haven't already banned our channel from YouTube. All right.